It don't look silly, right? No, no, it look right, mate. Okay, I just want, it's the Christmas one, isn't it? So it's Christmas jumper day. Yeah, you look good. Okay, cool. Come on, let's get started. Hi guys, and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Well, thank you very much for joining us this week. It's our Christmas video blog. Um, you wore a Christmas jumper today. I did. And your normal uh, working hat. I always pull a short straw, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Wear the hat, he says. <laughs> Is that good? I've worn it now. Yeah, it's great. Perfect. You're yeah. not going to leave it on? No, no. Uh, that's great. So, yes. Uh, yes. Well, that's it. This is our last video blog of the year. So firstly, we want to say thank you to all you guys that have been watching, uh, leaving messages on Facebook yeah. um, and on YouTube and everything else. We really, really appreciate it. And obviously, you know, we, we do realise you're enjoying the vlogs because, you know, certain tricks we do on there just fly off the shelves. And, yeah, um, the things. support this year has been phenomenal. phenomenal. So it really has. Personal thank you for that. Um, yeah, so thank you very much, guys. This, uh, this vlog is very sort of laid back yeah uh, i'm sure you can tell <laughs> yeah we're going to talk to you about um some of the new bits that have come in and maybe some last minute christmas ideas uh one of them is this bad boy mm, this is awesome this is really really cool this is the dynamo magic kit now i've owned alexan for 25 years in that time we have tried to stock a magic kit yeah. um for you know, budding magicians. Mm -hmm. um, I've never really found one that I was really happy with. Yeah. You know, some of them look great, you get them out and it's literally, everything's just in a plastic bag shoved in a box, so the box look nice, but... Lots um, of plastic gimmick, yeah, just not great stuff there. I mean, I, I used to collect magic sets when I was growing up. I probably had every single one that was out at the time and they all went down the same route of, Lots of plasticky bits in a box, sometimes in a bag, uh, saying there's 150 or 200 tricks when really you're getting about four. Yeah, uh, and, and the rest the is in a book. Yeah. yeah. So when the, when I saw this, uh, I was I was quite excited, mainly because it, it does come with some tricks that you may be familiar with. Um, you know, professional you could say professional working effects, but easy in the fact that they're probably self-working ones. Yeah. Um, are we going to say what's in here? Uh, yeah, yeah, we can talk about it. I mean, everything about this set, uh, for me, when you get something at, at Christmas or you get a gift like this, a lot of it, I've always been, uh, as far as I'm aware, Alex Sam were the first people to really introduce all the colour package into their products, mm. tricks with DVDs. And as, I mean, Kaufman interviewed me for, for a magazine a few years ago, and he said that we changed the face of magic products and how they were perceived, because my vision of a magic product was I wanted a, my product to look like you could walk into any shop yeah. and see it there and it wouldn't look out of place. Because before we started doing all the colour stuff, um, everything was just in a grip seal bag yeah. with, with instructions. We really invested in, in the, the moment they open the envelope, I wanted them to see they had value for money. And yeah. that's what this is. Everything from down to the box, which is solid, really well constructed. Mm. Um, when you open it up, everything's uh, com got its own compartment, really, yeah. really nice. But the tricks in there are phenomenal. Yeah, you've got, are. wow, yeah. um, you've got self the self-tying shoe shoelaces, you've got a brilliant pack of Mart's cards. Now, they're, they're yeah, not they're the lovely. standard cheap cards. These cards, um, as far as I'm aware, have been designed by Bill Kalush. Right. Um, and for those of you that don't know, Bill Kalush was the man who, who basically uh, introduced David Blaine to the world. Right. Um, I, I think if these cards were actually sold separately, I would, I would buy a brick of them. Yeah, uh, they're great. A few of them are lovely. It's got a great marketing system built into it. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, they're brilliant. And obviously you're getting gimmicks as well to do tricks with those cards. Yeah. Uh, Powerball 60, there's a version of that in here. Yeah. Uh, it, it really is a, a great, great set. And I did a little video uh, with a couple of snippets of the effects. So shall we cut to that? Yeah, we'll drop that in. As you are aware, Christmas is just around the corner. So if you're looking for that special gift for somebody, you might want to take a look at this. The tricks inside here are going to freak 
everybody out. Whether you want to impress your friends at school, your mates in the office, or even have a laugh down the pub, let's take a look at some of the tricks that are inside. Those are just two of the amazing tricks you get inside, but you could also do stuff like this with a pack of cards which is mixed up by as many people as you like. You get four people to say stop at four different positions, really fair. And you can tell them that that's the six of diamonds, the five of spades, queen of clubs, and the king of spades. Six of diamonds, five of spades, queen of clubs, and right there, the king of spades. It truly is a great magic set packed full of tricks that anyone can do and you can grab one for somebody special this Christmas at alexam.co.uk So yeah, just a couple of the uh, really visual moments but if you're looking for a, you know, a gift for this Christmas Whoever you're getting this for will not be disappointed when they lift the top of the box and see what they get. It really is a great set. And you know, a trick like WOW sells, I think, what is it? 25 pounds. 25, yeah. And that's in here plus all the other self stuff. Self-tying shoelaces we used to sell for 20. I think we worked it out. There was about 80 or 90 pounds worth yeah. of magic in there. And it's just 30 quid. So it, value for money, if you're looking for a gift, I mean, it's all in, in here. It really yeah, is. and it is, I mean, that's, um, a magic set that I would have been over the moon with yeah. when I was growing up, you know. And I know that we, as well we've had magicians come in and they've just been wanting the wows. Uh, we've let them have a look at, you know, the quality of the gimmick and everything and for, for £4 more... You they've get, been like, buying a, the set. Yeah, it's like a refill set, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I can't really recommend it highly enough, especially as well if you're looking for a gift. Um, yeah. It's great. So, we've got those in stock uh, now. So, that's a great little gift idea. Okay, so the next thing we want to talk to you about is uh, Hologram by David Stone. Um, David's one of these guys, I mean, fantastic magician, David Stone. Yeah. Uh, he's one of these guys that doesn't release very much. No. But what he does release are items that he's worked on for a long time. Yeah. Um, now, I know, did you say you had seen him perform this? Oh, God, yeah. I, I, I saw him lecture few years ago uh, for International Magic and yeah this particular effect really stood in my mind it blew me away uh, it, I mean the second that 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 sticker kind of morphs into view it is a real powerful moment but then when you flick it and it just changes colour I mean that it, it's just powerful and you know the, it's easy to do the gimmicks incredibly well made yeah uh, i will just say you get two in here as well oh cool um, for different size stickers you get stickers you get everything you need you just add it in to your to your normal deck of cards so it is a, a working routine you know that because david stone is a worker and anytime he puts his name on something uh, i'm excited to see what it is so, yeah what well, yeah. we used to stock a trick called spot by a guy called Sandy, um, a French guy called Sandy. Um, we started out quite a few years ago, and this is basically Spot. Mm. He's, what David's done, I mean, he obviously credits Sandy, and I think it's one of those things, and it happens quite a lot. Um, someone will start performing someone's trick, and then they end up buying the rights to it where they change it so much and, and yeah. everything else. And it, it's, you know, it becomes something they're known for. And, you know, David's been touring with this for, for quite a while. Yeah. He's been doing it in his lectures. And it is a great trick because you've got a, a really nice uh, couple of visual moments, and they are really, really visual. The gimmick's very, very clever. Mm. Um, yeah, very nice. And the basic, the basic routine is you get someone to pick a card and sign it. Uh, you now take a sticker and... Um, I don't know if there's a few different handlings. I'm yeah. I'm trying to think back to Sandy's original one, and I think Sandy's original one, you used to stick a sticker on the back of their card to mark it. Yeah. Then you used to put the card in the middle of the deck. Yeah. Flick 
the top of the deck or take an indefinite card or flick it yeah and it, yeah. it would look like the cards now jump to the top with a sticker on the back but it would yeah. be a wrong colour sticker yeah so then you pick it up flick it it would turn into their sticker and now it's their card yeah um, it, it's really, really cool. And what David's done is obviously he has been working it for a long time. So he's come up with some beautiful little handlings, some extra little routines. And like you said, you're now getting two gimmicks in there. Uh, the one that you're going to show, you're just going to show the appearance and the chain. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's using the smaller of the two gimmicks, isn't yes, it? Yes, I believe so. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that is hologram. That's in stock now. If you want something that's really neat and visual and do you know what, thinking about this, there's a lot of times where people ring up or come in the shop and say, we're working in a nightclub, or yeah. I'm working here, they can't really hear me. This is one of those tricks mm. that you could do in sort of duller lighting because the, the visuals are there, um, and they don't really have to hear you because it's all, the magic's just happening visually. Yeah, yeah, you know? definitely. And I think, you know, the more you play with this, the more you can kind of come up with some real visual moments of the sticker vanishing, not necessarily from a card. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I think you could do it as a card is selected, and the sticker vanishes in a different way. I've got a couple of ideas. Um, and then as you spread through, it's on the back of one card, show the card, and then boom, flick it, change the colour, and hand the card out now with a changed colour. Yeah, so, nice. Uh, I think it opens itself up to a lot of you know creative ideas and that you can do with this but i think it's great you know as far as gimmicks go it's impeccably made uh, it looks really really cool it's very visual and it's easy to do yeah and the teaching um as with all david stone stuff is is brilliant so that's really really worth your consideration that is hollow by david uh, sorry hologram hologram by david stone Okay, the next thing I want to uh, to mention is Triad Coins by Josh J. Yeah. Um, I've said it before, you know, Josh is one of my favourite magicians. I think everything he does just looks really magical. He's got a great style about him. His performance style is great. His technical ability is brilliant. And everything he does just looks like real magic. Yeah. Um, now, I remember seeing Josh do a version of this um, God, it must have been four or five years ago at the downtown Magic Club when he was lecturing. Yeah. The, the gimmicks were different back then. Yeah. Um, but since then, he's reinvented the gimmicks uh, and he's now bought out this trick. And it's... I know you picked one up at the, the session. Yeah, I picked one up, but I didn't actually... Uh, you know you, you pick things up and they, they end up in the drawer. And I, I don't even remember where this went from the session to... So when I got home, so it was only the other day that when this was released that I went looking for it. Yeah. And uh, since then I've been playing and it, it really is great. So it's basically, you can do a production of three coins. Yeah, from, from nowhere. From nowhere. And then individual vanishes of the coins, one at a time, and they're gone. So for close up, brilliant, light a bit flash paper, first coin. From there, second coin, third coin. So that's a lot of magic that's happened already. And you can pause and then boom, one at a time. You wave the coins and they vanish right yeah. in front of their eyes. And yeah, as you say, when Josh does it, it you know he does just make it like pure magic. But yeah. there's no, there's not a great level of skill needed to no. to no, do not this at effect. all. We're talking about triad coins. This is based on something I've been doing for a long time, but it's brand new. It's my own concept for a coin set and it hits all the important points of what I think is great in coin magic. It's quick, it's visual, it's in the hands, it can be done standing or seated, it can be done practically surrounded. You don't need anything special other than what you have with the coins, short sleeves, long sleeves, anytime. And if you want to know what it looks like, it looks like this. Three coins. Next one. Last one.
You actually look angry. <laughs> <laughs> So that was the trailer. Yeah. Um, I think it's priced really well at £45. Yeah. Now, I will say we've only got a few of these in, so chances are if you're going to order these from Alakazam, you might be on pre-order for them yeah. um, because they are going very, very quick. We got a big bunch in. They sold out almost instantly, and I'm not surprised because for a working piece of magic, yeah. It's perfect. If you're at tables, the magic's happening up here, which is lovely. If you're seated, it's all down here. If you watch the trailer, there's a, a lovely little segment where he's doing it to someone literally as far away mm. as you are from me. And it, it just looks superb. Um, and the great thing is, as well, it is very, very easy. Technically, yeah. it's easy. Yeah. Um, but, like anything, it does require practice to smooth out your actions. There's no yeah. sleight of hand. No. You know, but the more it. you handle something, the more you get used to the way the coins, the more you get used to what you're actually doing, the, the better it's going to be. Yeah, so. it's one of those things that um, sort of feels a little bit awkward at first, but then the more you do it, it's not a move, but it is just the way you're holding yeah. stuff in certain ways. Uh, but that's Triad Coins, it is absolutely brilliant, gets my highest recommendation, and uh, you might be lucky enough to get one of those straight away, otherwise pre-order it, you will not be disappointed. Triad Coins by Joshua J. Right. Um, sorry to plug this again, but they are selling quite fast. They so are. if you want something to watch at Christmas, gold dust. But the reason I'm showing gold dust yes. is these. I finally got these in. These are awesome. What are they, Peter? Right, I will tell you. On the Gold Dust DVDs uh, and on the trailer, Paul performs one of his effects, which is explained on the DVDs, called the Corner of Piccadilly. Um, now, when it's explained on the DVD, it's explained with normal poker-sized cards, and that's how you can obviously do it, uh, just as a gambling routine, or used aged cards. But the cards that Paul uses in the trailer are these. They are really nice old looking playing cards. They're longer than bicycle cards. They're more um, like tarot yeah. in size. Yeah. Um, and they've got that really old fashioned look, feel yeah. and uh, print on them, which is really, really cool. But they're really beautiful to handle. Now, these cards were printed originally by Christian Schenk. Um, he only ever done them in decks of cards. Mm -hmm. When we were releasing Gold Dust, I asked him, you know, if he had any, and he said, you know, we're near enough out of the run, I've got a few decks, there's certainly not enough to, to supply with the discs yeah. or whatever, um, and he said he'll have to dig them out and everything else. So a few weeks ago, he gave me a call and he said, look, I've got this amount left, and there, there wasn't a huge amount either. So I bought all of his remaining decks off him and we have made up sets of these uh, Corner of Piccadilly cards. Yeah. So basically you're not getting the routine with this. If yeah. you watch the performance, I've put a performance online, if you watch the performance you can see what the routine is. But these really are meant for people that own the Gold Dust Live DVDs. If you own the Gold Dust Live and you would like a set of these, they're now on our website. They're 11 99 a set um, and Christian said to me that he doesn't believe he'll be running this deck again yeah so this might be your only chance to get hold of these cards um, and they are great they and are. they do in my mind they do add to the routine yeah. given the old story yeah I mean I, I remember seeing Paul do this and my first question to him was where do you get those cards yeah it, it really does it sets the scene um, for the effect so I, I've definitely uh, secured a, a set of these, which I'm happy about. But they are they are great. They're in stock now. They're called uh, Corner of Pick Piccadilly Vintage Card Set. Um, but remember, you're only getting the cards. Uh, you're not getting the routine because they are really meant for people that already own the books or the routine as spares or gold dust. Um, the other thing I will say as well is your cards, the cards you receive, will vary. They will be different from the ones that Paul's used 
on the, the trailer because basically we've had to make sets yeah. even though each set will be perfect for the routine yeah. either um, you know a black money card with two red outer cards yeah. or a red money card with two black outer cards with yeah. different values it's just the faces all the backs are, the, are going to be the same yeah yeah this is the design of the back but yeah you you may not receive two of diamonds and uh, eight of cards yeah or you might not receive a picture card but what i've done is when i've put them together i've given them a really nice contrast so when you're in that position yeah. I mean, that's, that doesn't need to be a picture card. It's there, the money card. It's quite obvious. Yeah. So we've done that with all of the, uh, the sets we've made up. Um, so whatever you have will be perfect for the routine. It will be a really nice sort of little contrast. Nice. Um, so that is the corner of Piccadilly cards. Right, so that's it for this week and, in fact, this year. Wow. Yeah. It has flown by. Um, it really has. It has it's been, been yeah, it's been a great year. Once again, we really want to thank you all for your support. Um, without you guys, our customers and friends, um, obviously we wouldn't be able to do this. Mm. Um, one thing I, I will add as well is if you haven't uh, downloaded our VIP Club app yet, uh, please do so because you'll be in with a chance of winning that fantastic prize by Leo Schmetzers. Yeah. We'll be... Um, selecting the winner in January. 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 Um, so someone's going to win about a thousand pounds worth of Leo Schmetzer's magic. So I wish I could have it. I love the fact it, it's that it's a little plaque. Yeah. <laughs> that on its own is cool. <laughs> no, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. It will cost you nothing. Just download the app and register on it. Um, we are also, um, you weren't here yesterday, but no. I spoke to our uh, web guys, because obviously the guy that developed our app, um, Simon, done a fantastic job on the app. Our web guys and Simon are now talking about Ooh. hopefully combining the two. So fingers crossed, within a month or two, people will be able to access all their streaming videos on the app and loads of other Ooh. stuff. So nice. we'll keep you Very updated. Good. Fingers crossed that's all gonna work out. Um, but once again, thank you so much, guys. Um, we really, really appreciate it. We'll be back next year with another vlog. Yeah. Just what subscribe you, there. They what know. there? They know. All I've got to do is point. It'll pop up. Hopefully they're already subscribers. Yeah, I'm sure they are. I'm Good. Sure they are. Um, so subscribe there, download our app. Remember it's on the uh, App Store, Google Play and the Amazon App Store if you've got a Kindle Fire. Um, We've got some great new releases already lined up for next year. Yeah. Uh, we can't wait to tell you about those. So until then, guys, have a really brilliant Christmas and a very happy and prosperous new year uh, from myself. And me. And him. <laughs> and all the team here, Andy, Jenny, Claire, Louise, Adrian, Chris. From all of us, um, very Merry Christmas. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you on the other side. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas.